Hi, we're on to uh, the miscellaneous boys now. Uh, miscellaneous boys are, uh, in this particular case, the isolated danger. Isolated danger being that she is either a pillar or a spar, and she would carry two black balls in a vertical line. So the silhouette is a sphere indicating that the safe water all the way around. However, there is an obstacle directly below the buoy. How close could he pass to the buoy? Well, you need to pass as close as is safe. So as far away as possible would be the right answer. So we have um, two red uh, horizontal stripes or a single horizontal stripe. It can either be um, here we've got the pillar or we've got the spar. So it might be that you, we've got a, a rock that's outstanding or we've got something underneath the water. If I had got this vessel and I was heading north, say over here, and this buoy was half a mile to my starboard side, then I'm not going to divert to go round. However, if I saw it right ahead uh, or close to, and I had another vessel coming, then I would alter course to starboard so as to pass to the starboard side and stay to the starboard side of the channel. If we go into uh, the lights, the light is white uh, and it's uh, group flash two. So indicating the same as the day signal. Look at the day signal, two black balls. So the light is group flash two. Okay, let's move on. And we're looking now at the safe water mark. Safe water mark uh, is, um, can be any shape of buoy. It could be a pillar, a spar or a spherical buoy. If it's the pillar or the spar, then she needs to carry uh, the top mark of a spar. Um, and top mark of a sphere, not a spar. Um, so that clearly is indicating, again, safe water around the side. Safe water mark marks the mid-channel buoy. It's a mid-channel buoy. So you could say, look, here I am on a wide fairway and I've got this buoy on the uh, centre line. So I would stay to the starboard side. Alternatively, it might be above the bridge. So it's showing you that you want to be onto the starboard side of that passing underneath the bridge so that another vessel would do also do the same and so we would keep clear. If the buoy was spherical itself then she wouldn't carry the top mark however the pillar or the spar do. It has the same sort of number as marks so she well let's let's talk about that um, she has a minimum of four and a maximum of eight stripes so uh, the colour of the light is white, and it has four options uh, for those lights. Uh, and the rhythms could either be isophase, occulting, long flash every 10, or morse. I've got to ask you, what do you know about isophase? How would you describe isophase? How would you distinguish it from occulting? Just think for a sec. ISO. Well, ISO is Latin for equal. So equal light, so equal light, equal darkness. So if I have a look here, I'll just start the light now, trigger it off. She's flashing for about five seconds, and then she's off for five seconds. Flashes for about five seconds, then off for about five seconds. As opposed to occulting, occulting is that she's on longer than she's off. Tempted to say a black flash, but it's not. She's on for three times the length that she's off. So if this period here was 12 seconds, she'd be on for nine seconds and off for three. On for nine seconds, off for three. On for nine seconds, so, so and so. Alternatively, we've got here, this is the long flash every 10. So clearly you can see from the diagram that I'm showing you, then she's on, uh, so maybe about four seconds or five seconds for a long flash, and then it would repeat itself after 10 seconds. Or Morse A, did R, did R. 
So one short, one long. Okay. So safe watermark, where would we find it? It would be mid-channel buoy, under a bridge. Or it could be used for a fairway buoy or a landfall buoy. The first buoy that you see before you come to a buoy channel. Or conversely, if you're leaving the channel, the last buoy. So quite often it's near the pilot station, um, not on the pilot station, but near the pilot station. Okay. Move on to the special mark. The special marks are all yellow. Uh, they can be used for a combination of different scenarios. So I've always used, so I was taught Crofts, so Crofts Sherry as an aid to memory. So where would it be? So cables, pipelines, or outfalls, any of those would be marked with a special mark. Recreational boys. Recreational boys, it may well be that it's there for a, uh, a, a lateral boy. So um, port, starboard, whichever, in recreation, or it may even be just a tub, you know, a 40 gallon drum. So if she carries a top mark, then she needs to carry the top mark, and the top mark would be a St. Andrew's cross, yellow. It could be uh, an ODAS boy. Uh, that's Ocean Data, um, Ocean Data Acquisition Systems. So Met boys. It could be for firing or military areas. It could be used for traffic separation schemes. So clearly, if it's traffic separation schemes, then it wants to be a port or starboard hand buoy to indicate which way I'm going to leave it. It may be for spoil ground or anchorages. Spoil ground, what do I mean by that? Well, it could be agricultural area, fishing areas, or dumping grounds, or it might be spoil ground, an underwater uh, wellhead or anchorage ground saying to keep clear of them, or this is the area that you're in. And finally, you've got um, channel within a channel, channel bifurcation. That came up in one of the orals uh, last year. What is channel bifurcation? Channel bifurcation is a channel within a channel. An example of that would be a deep water channel. So as you're going through the traffic separation schemes, so it's Singapore Straits or uh, the, the, the English Channel, then she has a deep water channel, and this could be used for marking that. So we've got, here we've got the um, spherical. She carries the top mark. This would indicate you could pass either side. If it was a can, then it would be a port hand buoy, and I would have to leave it on a port hand when I'm going with the direction of voyage. The light is yellow, and it could be any rhythm, but it's any rhythm that can't be confused with surrounding white lights. So I couldn't use isophase yellow if it was near the safe watermark, or I couldn't have quick flash three if it was near an east cardinal mark. So special marks can be used for lots of different things, different places. They are yellow, the lights are yellow, and the lights must be a different rhythm from surrounding white lights. Let's go and have a look at a new danger. A new danger in this particular case might be, uh, so it's a jacket rig. She is working temporarily in the uh, port entrance there. And so we've got here, we've got two lateral boys, two starboard hand lateral boys. So clearly what it's saying is that they're close together and this would be marked off on the chart as a temporary or preliminary uh, chart correction. And uh, you would then, if you're going with the direction of boys, I need to stay, uh, leave these boys on my starboard side. It could be uh, uh, the cardinal boys. So wherever it's a major navigational hazard, that's the definition for a new danger, a major navigational hazard, the boys may be duplicated. If they are duplicated, then the boy must be duplicated exactly the same. 
so the light rhythm must be the same. So it could be here, quick flash green or ISO green, uh, four seconds, in which case then both the boys would have quick flash ISO four green seconds. It could be um, lateral boys or it could be cardinal boys. Going back about 12 years, the tricular went down just off the bruge in the English Channel. And we could get round either side, but she was underwater uh, at high tide. So what they did was they put the two north, south, east and west, that's duplicating each two north, two south, two east, two west boys. And each of them were uh, duplicated so that the lights were exactly the same. So quick flash or very quick flash was used. Uh, Cape Grenay was sending out navigational warnings every 15 minutes, as was Dover. And over that particular time, then uh, three vessels went aground, uh, well, went over the top of it and had to go and have serious repairs. She was a car carrier, was the tricular, carrying BMW cars, so, uh, and then she was salvaged and picked up. But so by day we've got the boys duplicated. By night we've got the lights also synchronized and duplicated. What about if it's in restricted visibility? So then she also has to carry uh, either a siren or a whistle or a foghorn, and that would be duplicated. But she needs to carry a raycon as well, and the raycon will be activated by. Uh, the radar on the X-band. The radar would send out delta. Delta. What's the Morse for delta? So you might well have done your signals, but certain letters and numbers you're going to have to try and remember. So delta is one long followed by two short. How would it appear on a radar screen? Draw a circle. Put your heading marker up heading north and you see this break on four points on your starboard bow. Draw and show me what would the Raycon look like. So, hmm. Okay, I'll come back to that because that was a question that was asked at all. The next boy we've got is the emergency rep marking boy. And the problem was, was that in 2008, when the tricular went down, as I said to you, three vessels went over it. So they needed to make sure that they would uh, clearly identify. So we haven't had another situation since, uh, but it's indicated or it's said in the, in the uh, manual that the emergency rec marker would circle uh, the lights and it will be synchronized. So almost like going down the motorway where you see the lights flash, de -dong, don off, de -dong, you know, the, the green going bing, 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 bing. This would also be showing you yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, and it's circling the, the danger. This is a, a, so those people that were with Trinity House would know this is the first boy that's likely to be put down because they're carrying these on board and they will place this and it's the first one likely to be at the danger. If they need to put more than they would do. But this would normally be the first one to indicate that it's uh, an emergency rep marker. It's not directional. So it's not saying alter course to port or starboard. It would be something if you saw this without seeing, without knowing it, <laughs> shit, then you're going to call the master without shadow of a doubt, call the master. Okay, uh, one of the strange things with this boy though is that they're using LED lights for now and this one's got spare capacity in the in the, the light systems that it's got, the power it's got. This boy actually uh, shows yellow on for one second, off for one half a second and then blue for a second, off for half a second and then yellow and alternates. But it only does that on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. At 001 on Tuesday, it flashes blue first. 
off for half a second, and then yellow, and then off for half a second, and then blue again. So, just to remind you that if you're in the orals and you're up on a Tuesday, then if he asks you what the light frequency is or situation is, you'd have to say blue first, off for half a second, and then yellow for a second, then off for a second, half a second, and then blue. But if it was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or Monday, then it would be yellow for one second, off for half a second, then blue, then yellow again. Okay. Interesting, eh? Okay.